Hey gang, it's Steve Strangio hanging out here at the Long Island International Film Expo. I'm talking to filmmakers. I got a filmmaker right here. Tell us uh, who you are and the name of your project. Sure. Uh, hi, my name is Travis Youssef, and I'm with Zero Method. All right, tell us about the, the project. Tell us about Zero Method. Sure. Uh, so Zero Method is essentially it's a time-traveling short. We're nice. kind of coning it as a spy-fi. Hmm. Uh, so like a sci-fi with a little espionage vibe awesome to it. That is awesome classification. Right? Yeah, I kind of want to like, I don't know if that's out there that, yet. You better trademark that now. I know, right? So well, make, mark it down, yes, it you know, spy-fi is you. Travis Youssef, Zero <laughs> Method. now. Go. <laughs> um, yeah, Steve. So it's it's basically about this uh, uh, character Zero, mm. who essentially is living his life out in the future, and he has an opportunity to go back into the past nice. uh, on a mission. And there's a little bit of an alternative motive there, maybe. Mm. There's something about that time that really strikes a chord with him. Good, and good. Uh, what I ended up working on, I'm the associate producer as well as the uh, fight choreographer nice. uh, coordinator on that. And uh, yeah, so that's well, let's talk about the challenges of this type of film. Now, I, I have always loved time travel stuff because it it creates, uh, you know, as as a writer or as a filmmaker, it creates so many different avenues that you can go with and, and play with structure. Do you feel that's what Absolutely. drew you to it? Uh, yeah, no, for sure. And I and I think, you know, and I mean, I grew up, you know, watching things, obviously, Back to the Future, yeah. um, you know, Time Cop, mm. um, oh, time you know, it was Jean-Claude Jean Van Damme, like, oh, you know, kind of like a cult classic now. Yeah. Um, I think it's like 95 or something. But, um, you know, and even like things as The Matrix, kind of, you know, us drawing to the uh, cyberpunkness of mm. the, the future and also... Being able to incorporate, um, you know, kind of the today, yeah. today's reality into yeah. that. Um, so yeah, I mean, what's what's great with this too, and kind of our time travel, um, how we're doing it, you can essentially go forward as far as you want, but the further back in time you go, the shorter amount of time you have. Okay. So. Zero goes on a mission, and um, you know we kind of. You don't want to say too much, Mister. Yeah, to yeah, no, it. definitely. I, yeah. I completely understand um, when you approach a time travel movie. Everybody has that Back to the Future like as their reference, but like, For sure. it, it's not the standard. You can actually play around with it. You know, I've seen time travel yeah. movies where it's like you can't touch anything in the past because it'll help your future, and then some yes. people say, "No, just go nuts." Sure. You know, so I mean, can you maybe just tell us a few of the elements? I know you kind of you kind of briefly talked about them, but like, which elements about time travel movies did you touch upon in this film? Um, I would besides, say besides what we just mentioned. Yeah. Sure. Um, kind of the elements that we touched upon. You know, again. Uh, I would even say a little bit of Terminator, too, you know, with uh, a certain machinery being able to be used. Right. Um, you know, so drawing elements and, and kind of, um, I guess you could say inspiration, you right. know, from movies like that. Um, even Blade Runner, right. for example, right, right, you know, right. just kind of like with some of the visuals that we have. Right. And, um, you know, it was a little tough, obviously, as far as. We wanted to set the scene a little bit more as far as like a um, grandiose, somatic, very Spielberg-ish. Yeah. Um, you know, even think of like artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah. I remember um, that. That's a, you know, not a lot of people know about AI. So I mean, that, that's yeah. the big phrase, right? Actually, was a movie called AI. Yes. So, yeah. That was yeah. Actually Which is yeah, the early 2000s, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, so a lot of, uh, again, we wanted to set the tone. Um, I think that we really grasped especially the sci-fi audience because yeah. it is kind of like a niche audience and we wanted to pay homage to just very specifics as far as um, you know just sci-fi just yeah. it as a whole in a genre. What do you feel that like um, action and, and fighting choreography had to be in this type of film? You know I, I think that adding an element of uh, stage violence and um, you know at, at a certain point it just I think just adds a little bit of spice onto yeah. the story Resets you know the brain and gets you more into it sure yeah, and yeah. it's just not just throwing a fight in there just to throw just in a fight in there it, yeah like yeah. there is a reason why That's there is an altercation there you, go. you know and it's it's about really telling that story mm. and um, having specific moves and you know why does he do this rather than take a hit or do a punch or kick, whatever it might be. And aside from like watching your movie, we need to also inspire people to watch Time Cop. Okay. Yes, please, absolutely. <laughs> really, Look it up. It was an amazing film. Yeah. All right, so how's been your experience uh, here at the Expo? It's really been wonderful. Yeah, it's yeah. really been welcoming. Uh, I actually uh, 
Ben, my producer, the director and writer, and also the star in it. Mm. Uh, we both went to Hofstra University. Nice. So right here in Hempstead, New York. Uh, so not myself. too far. There yeah, you go. okay, there, there you, you go. Go, go there. Pride. That's it. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I've, I'm now living in New Hyde Park with my wife, Christine. Mm. And uh, it, it's just nice to be part of the community. Nice. And uh, we've done a bunch of festivals in the city. We've gone up to the Boston Sci-Fi. Uh, but there's just something really nice about kind of being in your backyard yeah. and um, being able to connect with other filmmakers from Long Island. And uh, not only that, but just kind of, you know, it, this is international. So, you know, yeah. kind of from around the world. Um, yeah. Now, speaking of time travel. Yes. You are going to be watching this in the future. Sure. Uh, is there anything that you want to tell yourself uh, about this? about what's going to be happening in, in your career? I would say you know where you're supposed to be. Keep going. Mm. You got this. Always. You got this. We believe in you. Yes. That's it. All yeah, right. Once you. again, tell us your name and the name of your project. Travis Youssef, uh, Zero Method. I was the associate producer and the fight coordinator. There you go. I'm Steve Strangio, Long Island International Film Expo.